guys and welcome back to my channel so long time no see I am so sorry about the amount of time that I have been away I had a pretty exciting three weeks I had my brother's wedding and then three days after the wedding I left for a week and a half vacation and that was just amazing I saw my cousins um that I haven't seen in 12 years because they live clear across the United States from me and it really blows but it was amazing to see them and I just spent the like all the time I possibly could with them so I didn't have enough time to edit or anything but while I was on vacation I did some back to school shopping that I really wanted to share with you guys so I really hope you like it let's get into it oh and disclaimer um, I was given gifts but for the rest of it I did use my own money and Yes, my part-time job paid for some of my clothes and makeup. Well, all my clothes and makeup, I should say, because my mom only bought my purse and my aunt. But it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I used my, all my own money on everything purchased here. So, yeah, not trying to brag or anything. Just wanted to show what I got. All right, now let's get to it. Of course, while I was on vacation, I had to do some shopping. And a little little overboard but can't help it shopping addiction what are you gonna do anyway so let's just get into it so right before we left for vacation we went to Sephora I already threw away the bag sorry can't show you some the cute little bag anyway so for the um, wedding my mom and I and my sister-in-law went to get makeup so I got a few things I got the Naked Skin by Urban Decay and I'm in shade 7 and I really didn't think I was gonna like this but I have fallen in love and I'm so excited they had me try this and really reasonably priced so I'm pretty excited about this it um, covers up my acne scars and I thought it was gonna be oily but it is not so new fave so we also picked up these this hourglass mineral primer and it says it's oil free but it kind of feels oily when you put it on I still do like this it smooths out my face and it makes it look flawless before I even put the foundation on which my skin is not even flawless but you get what I mean and then last but not least from Sephora I got this um, little cheek gel by Josie Moran Marin whatever you know what I'm talking about it's a coconut water cheek gel and it looks really dark in the um, packaging but it applies beautifully I am so in love with this it is makes it, it looks so natural on my cheeks and it actually looks like I was just sun kissed and it is waterproof which is really awesome so I was wearing this to the pool on vacation to make it look like I was naturally blushing but love this um, it's in the color vacay rose it's beautiful go check this out so going off the makeup kick while I was down there I went to um, an outlet called Tanger Tangray I don't know anyway they have a cosmetics company store I know plain bag but I got a lot of things that wasn't smart now it's all over the floor so since I don't really have a Mac close by me I picked up a few Mac things and the reason I like the cosmetics company store is it's cheaper so I believe their lipsticks are originally $15 and I got each lipstick for $11.25 so the first one I got which was peach blossom and it is this gorgeous like nude peach color ah can you see it I don't know if you can see it maybe with my darker skin there you go um the next one I got was angel and you've probably definitely heard of this because everyone and their moms on YouTube have this color so I decided to pick it up for something neutral I'm really happy with that purchase I really didn't think it looked good on me but I love it and I think it's gonna even look look even better when I start to my tan starts to fade sorry I'm like throwing my stuff back there oh what's the next one I got the next <laughs> the next one I got was Vegas Volt Vegas Volt I felt like I was saying that wrong Vegas Volt Vegas Volt try saying that 12 times fast 
and so it's this really neon peachy color and this just caught my eye and I still cannot stop staring at this. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, I got five. I didn't even know I got that many. Ridiculous, Sam. It's ridiculous. And then I got Cream Cup, and this is another neutral. I don't own a lot of neutrals. I'm pretty picky. This is kind of a pinker tone neutral, which more my cup of tea. I'm not kind of that, like, um, concealer neutral or nude. You know what I mean? And last but not least, I got the color Flamingo, which is a even lighter. It's more of like a pinky coral color. I really like this. And then the last thing I got from MAC was this eyeshadow. And this is in their collection. Um, uh, I have no idea what collection this is, but it looks cool. It's like got uh, like, I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is like snake or octopus, but it's really cool. So the color I picked up was Aztec Brick, and I really think I'm going to love this for the fall. It's this really pretty bronzy gold color. Look how cool this design on it is. I love it. It's so pretty. I can't wait to experiment with them. Um, maybe I'll do a look for you guys. Love it. So the next thing I picked up was Bobbi Brown. And this is the first thing I have ever owned from Bobbi Brown. I'm really excited about this. I got a blush and it was $18.25. I don't know how much they originally are, but... I'm pretty sure that's cheaper than what they usually are. And this blush color I picked up was in Nectar. And I heard a lot of good things on YouTube about this. And I was thinking it looked a little too, like, light pink. There you go. There's a good... And I was just, like, not sure about it. But I'm wearing it today, and I love the way it looks on my cheeks. So even though I was a little nervous about it, I am in love with the way it makes me glow. And the last thing I got was a creamy lip color by Bobby, by Bobby Brown. Sorry. Can't talk. And I really like this packaging. It's not something I've seen. Now this kind of reminds me more of like a chapstick, but it is lip cream. Whatever. It's in the color Pink Ballet. And I really like this. This is something I feel like I can throw in my purse for like a natural looking makeup look day and... I think it's beautiful and you know for school I don't really try too hard so the next place I went to was called Dazzle Up and this seemed like a very sorority inspired store they had a they had a lot of girly things lots of monograms and just a bunch of things they had a bunch of like anchors and for my sorority is the symbol is an anchor so I picked up this cute little sign because I thought it'd be so adorable in my room when I move into the house this year. And it says, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul. And an anchor stands for hope, so it's just really adorable. We might put this on like our door or something. It was only $5, so I picked it up. I have an addiction, not going to lie to you guys. I have way too many of these. and. I'm not going to stop anytime soon. This is like, I pick up usually one on every vacation, so like once a summer for my school bag. Because I don't like backpacks. So, I went to Coach. And I love Coach because they always have their deals. And like I said, it's an outlet store. So, bless my aunt because she is such a sweetheart. She bought me this Coach bag. And I love it. I love how it has this crossbody and it makes it easier to just like throw it over my shoulder for school and just go. This has enough room to like hold my um, like water, um, like calculators and stuff and whatever I happen to need for the class that day as long as it's not a giant textbook. So I'm in love with it and bless my aunt's soul. I love it so much. It's gorgeous. I'm gonna cuddle it. Okay, enough for the weirdness. Enough. So then, because my aunt is just so cool, I literally have not seen her for 12 years because she lives clear across the United States. But anyway, she gave me her old Kate Spade crossbody. And I 
have never owned a Kate Spade purse. It's the first one. Look at this beauty. I love crossbody bags. It smells like leather, new. I love that it's so mature looking and it's black, so just never goes out of style. Literally, bless her heart. Oh, I was there. Had to do some back to school shopping. So Forever 21. Surprise, surprise, I actually found some stuff there. Super hard for me to find things in there. That's not Forever 21, but I'll show you later. So, walking into the store, this is the first thing that caught my eye. And this is a little different for me. The pattern is a little different. This beautiful little dress, I love the high neckline with the, um, rouging across the top so it's very flattering and feminine i am extremely happy with this it's got a little belt to cinch at the waist and then it's mid thigh length and i just thought this is so flippin adorable i'm gonna wear this to class in my sorority meetings and i can't get over this beautiful detail this is not really something i wear a lot i don't have a lot of blues in my wardrobe and this has got this beautiful like um khaki tan color in it to set it off and I love it. Sorry, I just have to admire it. Next thing I saw just on like the go back rack was this pretty little scarf and I love infinity scarves. They're so easy to throw on and since it's so cold where I live, I just like scarves. So this is really cool. Oh, that kind of looks cool. All right, so it's just like striped chiffon. It's just obviously white, clear, white, clear. It was only $8.80. Love Forever 21. And since it is an outlet, which I've never seen a Forever 21 outlet, the like more you spent, the more percentage off they gave you. So if you spent like over $100, they give you 20% off and whatever. It was awesome. And the dress before that I think was $22.80. I bought the tax. I wore it. Sorry. This is so not me. Well, sort of, because I love lace. But it caught my eye, and I just could not pass it up. So it's this kind of, like, mini turtleneck with, like, lace, and it reminds me of, like, a Victorian shirt in our top, and I love this to death. And in the back, it's just got ooh, a little clip. So it has three little buttons. I love this. This was 1960. What? No. 1980. It's always 80 cents, whatever. I love this. I love white. Can't get over white. Well, that's cream, but whatever. This, like, just screamed fall to me. I am in love with it. I love the cutout details. And I love this pretty, beautiful teal green color. So I love the zipper in the front. I love how it's kind of like a v-neck and I just picture this with like tight black jeans and like little booties. It goes down far to cover my bootay. So if I wanted a wear with leggings or whatever, but I think this would look so cute in the fall. Maybe some gold jewelry. Who knows? I haven't thought about it that much. Next thing I got um, was this beautiful dress, and this is just like the one I showed you earlier, same shape. It has this beautiful pleating in the front to accentuate your chest, and then a little keyhole in the front, it's cinched at the waist, then it goes down to mid-thigh, and then in the back, it's got an opening. A little like, well, it's kind of like a big keyhole opening, but I thought this like, um cranberry color is just so beautiful. I was in love with it last fall and I'll be in love with it again this fall. So this and some tights would be super cute. And then because I can never find blazers, never, I only own one that actually looks good, I finally find a, found a second one and it is this tan. And I love the sleeves, how it's like cinched and like rouged all the way up. So it's three quarter. And then I love that it is cropped, so it just goes right above my, like, underwear line. Whatever. I love the, like, pleating all around it. 
and these pockets are just so sophisticated looking. This will be perfect for my sorting meetings and this was $27.80 so this was kind of more expensive but I'll get a lot of, out of, lot of use out of it especially with like job interviews or something. Oh, the dress before was $22.80. Sorry about that. Last but not least, this beautiful floral top. And I love how flowy it is. And it's got these angelic sleeves. And again, this must be popular for the fall. This like pleating around the neck area that's kind of high. And my mom said this is kind of like majorly. Cool, mom. I liked it though, so I'm going to wear it. It's pretty. I thought with some like white jeans or something. And this was only $14.80. Gorgeous! So since I'm going back to fall, or <laughs> going back to school, I loved this shirt. It's kind of summery, but again, like my sorority anchor. I got this anchor shirt and it's got like Lily, um, Lily Pulitzer inspired patterns in the letters and it says, get naughty. Ah, uh, but it's spelled like nautical, get naughty. Oh, it's so cute. All right, yeah, dark alert. But it's a cute little razor bag. It's super comfortable and really flattering. And last but not least, my mama. Bless her soul. I love her to death. Bought me a Kate Spade. Oh, this bag is totally like trashed from traveling. But she bought me a Kate Spade purse, so yes, a little excessive. I got two designer purses, but when they're gifts, you don't say no. You just take them. Ah, I love this shape. I think it's so gorgeous. I've always wanted a purse this shape. I think it's so sophisticated and so... No, I feel like it's never going to go out of style. And I'm just going to cuddle this bag too because I love it so much and I love the color. It's navy blue. Navy blue never goes out of style. And let's color my story. I feel like I keep saying that. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry. The other one, it has a wonderful crossbody bag or strap. Strap, so it makes it easier for going to class. And my dad kept telling me that it looks like a flipping like doctor's bag from the old days. Which made me mad because I don't want to think about a purse being a doctor's bag. I just want to think it as this beautiful, iconic fashion accessory. Anyway, so that is the last thing I got, well, was gifted to me, which was super amazing. So thank you, Mom, and thank you, Aunt Trish, for the amazing bags, because I love them, and I will not stop carrying them this fall for school. And I hope you like the background. I'm liking it a little better than in my own room. Um, sorry, it took so long to put up my bed, y'all. Sorry guys. Anyway, so if you liked this back to school haul, give it a thumbs up and I will hopefully be doing more soon. More clothes related because I'm a fashion major. I need more clothes. You can never have enough clothes. Or shoes. Or jewelry. Or handbags. Or makeup. Anyway, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!